Have you started noticing ghoulish pumpkins pop up all around your neighborhood? Today I'm going to show you a few ways you can use tools from your toolbox to carve pumpkins in clever and interesting ways. When we get done, not only will you have some great carving ideas, you'll probably get done in half the time. At Mr. Handyman, safety comes first, and the same thing goes for using power tools at home. Make sure you have on your safety goggles, follow the instructions in the owner's manual, and all these tasks should be performed by an adult. The first step in carving a pumpkin is to cut off the lid. Now you could use a kitchen knife or one of these small saws that come in a pumpkin carving kit, but what you might not know is that the blade of a jigsaw is just about the same. The only difference is, this saw has power. To cut off the top, simply plunge in the blade at about a 45 degree angle, work your way around the pumpkin, and your lid will be off in a jiffy. One of my favorite tools for carving a pumpkin is a cordless drill, and I'm going to show you three ways you can use a drill to carve your pumpkin. Once the lid is open, you need to gut your pumpkin. Now this has always been the job that I like the least. That is, until I found the pumpkin gutter. You can purchase a pumpkin gutter online for about $10, and you and your family will save about 15 to 20 minutes scraping with a spoon. If you're going to do more than three to four pumpkins, this investment is worth every penny. Simply insert the gutter into your drill, tighten, and make mincemeat of your pumpkin guts. When armed with a spade bit, you can make some really interesting designs in your pumpkin, such as stars and other patterns. To make, make this pattern, we are going to put the largest hole at the center and then gradually decrease the bit size as we step away from the center of the pumpkin. We have templates on our websites, but this carving can easily be done by marking the holes with the measuring tape. You just want to make sure the holes are spaced evenly for best results. Coring bits are a great way to make perfectly circular eyes or use the coring bit in combination with spade bits to make intriguing circular patterns. To do fine detail work and to carve intricate designs, these linoleum cutters are the perfect tool. They also come in many shapes and sizes. Unless you're an artist, which I most certainly am not, the best bet for making an intricate design is to print out a pattern, then use a thumbtack or other small needle to mark the pattern. Go back and cut out the part pattern you've traced, and you'll have the perfect design every time. A lot of times, after carving an intricate design, you want to go back and remove a large section of skin. And one of the best ways to do that is with these woodworking chisels. So go and cut your fine, intricate design with a linoleum cutter, and go back and remove large section of skin with a woodworking chisel. This Halloween, get out your tools and make them do the work. You can go to our website for detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do each of these techniques. You can also find templates which will get your carving started on the right foot. Call Mr. Handyman to take care of your to-do list. We do the job on time, done right, so you can spend more time doing the things you want, like carving pumpkins with your family. Happy Halloween, everyone!